Hey, I'm Nick Kyle Hong Gamer. Welcome back to Tennis Manager 24, episode 27. We're into that new season. We're trying to see if we can break even for the month of January, but we just had a week of training for all but Kayla Cross, and Cross out in the first round only earned 1,000 for us. So we still need to earn 15K. It's late in the month of January now, but Martina King, still at rookie level 15, even though we've won three straight of them. But with the rise in ranking, she suddenly goes from somebody who needed to go through qualifiers to, oh, you can qualify automatically, to you're the one seed, <laughs> right? Just out of nowhere. So as a one seed, she's the favorite. I have been able to now get her into second tier without qualifiers in future competitions. But I think we have, I believe it's two left to uh, navigate. <laughs> I just realized something too. This is the one qualifier left. We had two qualifiers for the start of the year that we had for King. One of them flipped into, they gave her an automatic spot. The other one remained a qualifier and it's here. So she's not a one seed for the tournament. She's the one seed for the qualifier. Both matches were easy. Second one looked a little harder than just easy. I mean, they did have to play 130 points, but she won relatively comfortably she's qualified for the tournament proper and it's the only qualifier we're going to go through all year with her because turns out that martina king now 18 i thought she had a full year of eligibility left for the juniors she does not she does not qualify for the juniors any longer so we are permanently into the seniors for her and where i was supposed to be qualifying easily we've been declined a bid for for a tournament that had no warning that she was not going to qualify for great well this is a little surprising so i had a one year deal to manage the u.s at the junior level i figured i would hope for the senior level after that and move up but i'm not getting an offer for anything more than retaining the junior girls position i think at this point I don't want to be stuck at the juniors for the next five years. And as much as it hurts to do it, I'm going to go ahead and decline. And as we progress, I'm hoping next year they're going to come in with an offer for higher level. Maybe they'll offer for this year, but probably not. So it looks like we're going to be sitting out the nationals for a year, but I have no junior players anyway. I think this is probably the right move for the progression of our career. Kayla Cross, her form is going to take a huge hit. Another first round exit for her back-to-back -back weeks. Uh, it's going to be a pretty significant setback. Another 1K, though. We're now at 14K late January. I'm not sure if we're going to make, make it. Her <laughs> morale goes to rock bottom, too, for the back-to-back -back losses. So King, coming through the qualifiers, now ranked 776. Does not get seeded, but we go up against... A seeded player, the sixth seed, who roughly close to matching. I'm wondering. Uh, the eighth seed is 740. Yeah, we would have been unseated anyway, but we would have been awfully close to making it to a seated position. Uh, let's see how far we can go in this one. We've won three straight, but difficult first round draw, but not so difficult. It said easy, and it turned out to be easy. 6 3, 6 3. Second round was supposed to be tougher with uh, somebody else who was higher ranked than us, but just outside of the top eight. And yeah, it was still comfortable. Again, in the quarterfinals, we go up against somebody slightly higher than us in ranking. Uh, Sakarovic, who was higher ranked than us, on here was lower ranked. So I'm thinking she just won probably a second tier tournament last week while we won a first tier tournament. Uh, and ultimately, that was still the difference that had her above us, or maybe a semifinal out of a higher tier tournament. Outsider on this one, and we are out. So the win streak finally comes to an end here for Martina King, but we're still picking up points. It's going to be good for our ranking nonetheless. Mueller takes the win, uh, two six six four five seven. So we pushed it to three sets. Couldn't quite win. We got a really slow start on this one. 47% of points, minus 10 on the winners. The unforced errors was a minus 2, and the forced errors was a minus 1. 
Uh, we didn't win in any aspects of this match. That still pays out a thousand though, quarterfinalist for lowest level, but it looks like at this point we're going to come up short on uh, the prize money we need for a neutral balance. However, minus 13k is a very good month of January nonetheless. So we definitely secured a few points in that one, but our ranking seems to be stable here. So we're in a space where a low level tournament with deep runs and or wins is not gonna push us much higher, but we're on the verge of moving up to that second tier of tournaments. We are also into the new month, so there is that the debt at the start of the month. We're down to 58K and we are looking at, uh, the new facility is not quite done. It will be done very shortly. Uh, but in the meantime, we are losing, let's see, what is it? 63.4K per month. We're gonna see that drop by about 7,000 in the coming month, or at least we hope that that's where we're gonna be with that. So the facility upgrade will have a minor impact. Winnings, if we can be more successful this year, will have a much greater impact. Uh, if we can do something similar to what we did in January across the board, we'll still be in debt at the end of the year, but not by much. And remember, we are at the moment uh, spending extra. Uh, let's go ahead and get through this first round for King. Looks like a pretty easy first round. We are just missing the eight seed is 16 spots above us. We are just missing getting seeded for these rookie level tournaments, but I think we can hang with the second tier, earn more points, bump that ranking up. It's okay that we are not seeded for this. First round was a win. Nava also winning in the first round of 125, so a higher level tournament there. But let's jump over to the uh, finances. There, you can see that, that drop? Pretty minimal from one month to the next. For the moment, it's a big drop. We need to try to raise that up. And if we could just make that gradual, right? We're, we're gonna be hitting zero, maybe August. I don't think it's gonna be like that. Cause like I said, we, we had one of our four uh, slams to help keep us afloat in that month. I think it's gonna not be this drastic, but I have a feeling it's gonna be more like this to where we're hitting zero around May, like between April and May. But even then, if we can keep it, you know, minimal on the losses, we'll be 150k in debt at the end of the year, instead of, gosh, what, what even was it, 389, almost 400k? Was it over 400k in debt at the end of the year? No, it wasn't 400. It was three something, right? 320. It's amazing how quickly I lose track of that. It'd be nice if you could go back and look at your previous year's accounting, and it doesn't just reset to the new year but banking costs were 3k for the last year so the repayment is coming in at roughly 3k a month which is not 500k right uh, there there's got to be more than that yeah see the repayments shows up as zero just the interest so we'll see maybe we haven't started it yet uh keep an eye on that because it looks like we kind of get away with the loan. We're just really paying the interest off and not paying the loan itself off. In which case, that 500k is well, well worth it. Second round, third round all look pretty approachable. A semi-final looks approachable. Quarterfinal was supposed to be balanced, but 6-1, 6-2, we continue on. Nava was still going as well and continues to go into a semi-final for Nava. The five seed, 748th ranked player squeezes her way into the finals. So neither one of these matchups looking easy, balanced, but slightly ahead in the semis. First round goes to tiebreaker, but second round, we don't even lose a game. But Nava out in the semis, but of a 125. Should be pretty satisfied with that. It should help his uh, form 8K for that performance. Definitely makes a dent into the losses. Balanced, slight outsider. I'm not worried about rookie level anymore. We've won it enough times. So 6'4", six, 6'3". Six, it is a winner. Martina King, fourth time winner at the senior level, smallest level tournament. But third time this year already. 
Nava again in a 125 this week through the quarterfinals. Continuing on, he's making nice deep runs through the semifinal. He's going to play in a final this week. And we're going to go ahead and give him a boost by coaching. He came through as a wild card, beating the eight seed, who he's actually higher ranked than in the semifinals. So this wild card, clear that it was a boost. He knocked off the one seed in three sets, 50 spots lower in the rankings in the quarters. And we've lucked out with a wild card opponent in the final that we should be favorites. Balanced match, a little bit worse off on form, but he's got good form. Uh, we do have an ongoing injury, a minor one. Might not be an easy match then. First set. We gave him a boost to his relaxation, which comes out as reassured. He's also self-assured. It's just the motivation where he is concerned. Our opponent also experiencing discomfort. And only stress. The relaxation part is the only thing that he's suffering from. But unlike us, uh, he's a lot more fatigued. So already below 50%. He's going to have a bit of a uh, accuracy hit in this one. Uh, he's also already scored an ace on us. And taking the uh, first. Isn't the higher ranked opponent supposed to get serve first? I don't know why my opponent's... Old editions of Tennis Manager, I remember the opponent always served first. Nice ace there. We do lose the first game to uh, Fresina All-American final here in Dallas. 125 final. <laughs> Nasty miss there. Let's speed things up. It's not our regular player, but it's uh, our first male player on the team. And uh, he is definitely doing well to start the year. I mean, we're just into February, and he's made a deep run in every tournament. Kayla Cross is starting to fall apart. Her morale is low. Her form is taking a real dip as she's had early exits. But the other two new faces so far have done pretty well, especially Emilio making deep runs. But he's down two games three right now, serving to equalize. So, so far, either player unable to break the other. Service is strong advantage for both, and it's going to make it a little bit tough as we get broken here, and it's 3-5, so we might be going down in this first set. Oh, can we turn around and break him, though? It is a break point. Ah, unable to do so, and all of a sudden it's set point. A couple points later here. Trailing. Oh, gosh, that wasn't even... Lacks the physicals, apparently, to uh, compete. I guess is we need to work on his physicals if that was <laughs> that easily beaten. Especially no, when our 15. opponent is reaching balls that are well away from oh, his body. Each holding serve early on into the second set. We do get a chance to break them, but don't succeed in doing so. Now 3-2. Early. Oh my gosh, it was love 40. We still couldn't break him. 5 3. Maybe we did break him. Second service. Not that he had advantage, but we're sitting here 5 3. Chance to level the set tally. Still in this thing. And we should have an advantage based on the fatigue factor. So after losing 3 6, we win 6 3. Third, and we're going to take it to the decisive sets. third set in this one. Love Double fault there to start. And uh, early advantage. Lose the game, though. But again, already ahead, already below 50%. Not quite for Emilio. He's not far off from it, though. But we go up three games, one. So we've got the advantage here in this second set. Or a third set, that is. But we get broken there, and we're back to 3-3. Three, three. From uh, serve advantage in the earliest sets, it's suddenly this third set is the return is the better place to be as the returner has won, I think, three straight games. Finally, with serve, we take one. It's five games three, and we've got a real shot at this. <clears throat> with service now at five games four, can we come away? It's 30 love. How? Goes out, love. it's 40 love. The inaccuracy hurt him there. Good for serve, but he recovers well. We're trying to get on the front foot though on this point. 
Definitely playing the front foot, 40 love. He hits it just a hair long, and we do win the tournament. Montgomery only managed to get, what, one, two wins in three years. It's taken less than two months for one of our new players to secure a victory. 18,600 in the payout for Emilio Nava's victory, bringing us back up to 90K already, bringing us back in within uh, 32K, but already mid-month. And this is what I was talking about. It's going to be more than what we saw in January in the non-Grand Slam months. But even then, we're still doing pretty okay. We're not losing what we were losing before. This is this is the type of winnings that outside of uh, what she was getting for the Slams... This is more. This is quite a bit more. But the thing is, what's going to happen with King? Because King is already starting to climb up. We've just dropped the percentage by 2% two per, uh, on our share, our cut of what King is bringing in. The restaurant uh, upgrade was well, actually construction in the first place. It was level one. The restaurant construction was supposed to take one month. The reality was it was about a day shy of two months. He called that one month, but um, yeah, that math was definitely not mathing as we did it in late December. I guess it's a week shy. A week shy of two months. King now has her first shot at the second tier. It's taken us to late February before we've been able to bump up her schedule to this higher tier, but we're going to now permanently be in it. We're done with that lowest tier. I think we're going to compete just fine here. 670 is our rank now after that latest victory. Still not high enough to be seeded for this tournament, but we're already in at least a favorable spot for our first round. Second round, though, could be the highest opponent we've played at senior level ranking-wise. Uh, and actually, even the wild card is going to be higher than I think anything we've been up against. So uh, we'll see how that second round goes. Uh, what do we compare to in points, though? Because you get basically one point per round at that lowest level. At the second level, it takes a significant jump. We're talking about 50 points for a winner, five points to get to that round of 16. Prize money also getting a significant jump from what we were getting. Uh, just being here actually pays out almost as much as winning that lowest tier tournament was. Easy match on paper for this first round matchup, and it is a victory. So we are into the second round. We are already eclipsing what we get from that lowest tier stuff, or nearly eclipsing it. Cross also getting a win in 100 level. Nava getting a win in a 125. Oh my gosh, we've got athletes on the team besides our main athlete getting victories. Oh, it feels so good. Alexa Noel, second round. We, we put her into a higher tier tournament in a qualifier. She made it to the second qualifier, but lost there. So she she's training this week now instead of competing. All right, the three seed, 410. Here is King's first big test of her senior career. Balanced match, slight outsider. Uh, they've never played each other. For now, I'll simulate. It's an early round. Uh, we don't necessarily need to wait for a final to see her in action, but I'll see what she could do on paper. And it is an exit, if not for a very close first uh, first set tiebreak loss. And then winning that second, that would have been it. That would have been it, but we end up losing in the third. Ex in fact, it was better than 50%, 112 to 111. We were one point ahead. So yes, unfortunate, unlucky, plus 10 on the winners. Uh, couldn't keep it clean. Not normal for King. Not normal at all for King. I'm wondering if we had a lot of long rallies. No? A lot of short rallies. 101 majority. I mean, almost half of them were short rallies. Uh, medium rallies. That's where we made a lot of mistakes, apparently. Lost really bad on the medium rallies. Did well on the long rallies. Alright, so King out in the second round. But prize money, pretty similar to what we were getting. Uh, otherwise, but I think the points were just slightly. It looks like we need about a third round to uh, start matching or eclipsing what we were doing in that lower tournament stuff. Uh, cross out in the round of 16, 2600 for her. Nava continuing to progress well through the quarterfinals. 
losing in the semis 125 this is what it, the level he won last time very close loss 6-7 6-7 so tiebreakers in both rounds for him but paying out 8,000 for that bringing us up over a hundred thousand uh looks like the well yeah the month is about to end it's losses of near 20k but that is before the restaurant was done we'll get our first restaurant payout about 7k better so yeah i'm i'm liking our rate of 20k or less losses per month uh that's pretty sustainable for a while i mean we're talking about a good five months and you get another slam in a little while if we could bring that down to less you know maybe we can hang on for about six months end of august i would love to see us not be at a zero balance at the end of the month anyway not until the end of august that would be that would be a good year for us if we're hanging on that long and then only having four months of additional losses before you get your 350 to 400k uh, board contribution at the end of the year tournaments has been our biggest source of earnings each of the first two months of the year and comfortably so overall check-in form is excellent for three of our four athletes and cross is at least hanging on to average uh, morale dropped to rock bottom for martina king as i only gave her the two percent reduction instead of the four percent that she was asking for it shouldn't have hit rock bottom from that it should have just been kind of neutral um, maybe the losing in the second round also saw her take a hit for morale because if i would have just straight up denied decreasing it that would have made it rock bottom anyway we're up to 630 in the rankings cross also climbing 330 uh, noel doing well up to 121 and nava up to 109 so actually we're seeing a really good start to the year for the first time in four years so after the excitement of last year's world cup this year it's kind of a detriment to us one none of my athletes are close enough to being competitors I turned down the job for retaining the junior girls for five years to get a shot at the pro women or even the pro men's later on. So I'm out of it. My athletes are out of it. And we lose training every time there's a qualifier. There's three stages of it throughout the year. So three weeks are going to be lost to just simple rest. Also, a little discouraged at the moment that we lost 59.7K from 63 so we only got 4k better when we should have gotten 7k based on what the math would have been what it was expected to be the banking cost was the same at 3k yeah staff expenses remain neutral from december till now so no changes in that the infrastructure that was the lump sum the uh, 175,000 that we paid plus the additional right the normal infrastructure costs here is our new infrastructure cost this month so the restaurant obviously costs money to run but it makes more money than it costs but on the earnings side we made a little less in tournaments than we did the month before we've had nothing in equipment suppliers so far this year the academy businesses the board there is the restaurant it brought in 13,500 ignore the upgrade part we're not looking at upgrading we don't have 551k the potential is 20,000 the monthly expense is the 9,300 but we brought in 13 so we brought in less than half or sorry more than half of what was there but not the 11k but I always said that the 11k wasn't going to be accurate that it was going to be more like 7k but 13,000 is only 4k so it did cut in for some reason we made less than the rate that we were making on the others now that we have four of them so it decreased the rate still improved it by a little over 4,000 but not by much so our improvements this year are going to come not exclusively right we're gonna make 4k a month better than before we're better off by 4k with our monthly losses it's a pretty small dent when we're talking about 60k losses per month 63k has become 59 
we've cut our monthly debt by 6%. That's it, 6% improvement. For us to be better this year, 6% over the course of the year, I mean, sure, it's, it's going to improve things by close to $50,000 over the course of an entire year. It is an improvement. It does put us in a better financial position long term. Definitely not complaining about that part. But for me, the bigger thing by far that we're seeing is that the winnings is improving. Even though we're missing out on that 33K from Montgomery four times a year, we didn't get it last year four times. In fact, we got it once and then we got into qualifiers and made less there twice got nothing once uh, because that was when we had suddenly dropped out of the rankings so realistically that 33k at least a year ago we only collected it once and then we collected a partial payment twice which added up to i don't know 50k total especially compared to last year we've already nearly earned that we got what was it? 18K for qualifiers times two athletes already. So we made the first chunk of that back. And then other winnings have been better. So winnings are up, even though we're only making 4K extra in terms of infrastructure, winnings are improved and making a much bigger dent on the finances. And that is why now early in March, Things are looking much, much better. We're going to be way less in debt this year and shouldn't be looking at needing the loan, though the loan doesn't seem to hurt much at all, right? <laughs> 3K that we've paid in, in monthly interest is it. They're not charging us more than that. That's not repaying 500K plus interest. Finances are definitely on the up and it's a relief, right? Because we made zero progress a year ago. We made not only progress this year, how long can these athletes maintain the form and help us with those winnings? Wow, King continues to improve and rise up the ranks and earn more and more. She was our second biggest earner a year ago. She is definitely not earning the most right now. She's fourth of four, but she's still earning more and we're earning more. And I'll shut up about the finances. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get on with our season and what sort of progress we can make, which right now is looking pretty dang good. Across the board, doing pretty well. Emilio Nava, very happy with his season as it is right now. Really happy, of course, I need to fix that, but, you know, I'll fix that. It's Monday. That's going to do it for this episode. I'm the Cathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.